Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Crypto Daily Trade is coming to you live from Vietnam, guys. This is our uh, 6 p.m. drive time update, guys, and I just want to say God bless each and everyone. Thank you for being here. And this video is not financial advice, guys. And Merry Christmas in the house. And huge breaking news. Huge breaking news. We got huge breaking news. Elon Musk has just announced that uh, Tesla will allow you to use Dogecoin to do. That's right. Tesla just announced, and it's official. This is not clickbait. That basically Elon Musk is allowing you to buy buy Tesla stuff with Dogecoin, guys. I repeat, Elon Musk is now officially uh, allowing people to use Dogecoin to buy stuff uh, on for Tesla, guys. And this is huge news, guys. So here's a tweet right here. It just it just came out moments ago. Tesla will make some merch viable with Dogecoin and see how it goes. So I think this is going to be the first catalyst that you're going to be able to buy accessories, accessories for Tesla using Doge. And then, and then, and then we're going to get the huge announcement where it won't just be accessories. You're going to be able to buy the whole farm. You're going to be able to buy Tesla with Doge, guys. So this is great news. This is bullish news. I'm so excited, guys. You should be excited. And we're seeing, we're seeing right now that the Dogecoin price is pumping. It went all the way from uh, like 15 cents all the way up to 19 cents is up almost 17 percent so hopefully this pump will keep on going keep on keeping on guys so this is great news it's fantastic news in the house so let's talk about other stuff we got bitcoin stuff to talk about so let's get it guys and it's a great time to be alive well it depends i mean some of you out there are, are not too happy with the current situation of the crypto market and we talked about why you know we saw all the crypto market going down and remember this is not financial advice this is the og in the house just expressing his opinion and this video is for educational educational purposes in the house guys and i know a lot of you right now are not so happy about what's going on we're seeing that crypto is still going down and we know that the whole bunch of huge catalysts uh, that are kind of stimulating the uh the uh, catalyst that's bringing the uh, bitcoin right down right now the rest of crypto markets one we got the uh, you know jeremy powell the and the fed are going to have this huge meeting that's going to be happening i think in around about eight or nine hours from now and they're going to be talking about the you know fiscal policy they're going to be talking about are they going to be cutting back in terms of the uh, you know buying back the bonds part of the whole uh, stimulus package and then also we got the the O variant that's uh, you know having uh, its uh, its effect on the world economies and then also we got the you know the, the China FUD that's coming down with the Casa Grande uh, FUD as well that they defaulted on their US uh, bonds and all that kind of stuff that's going on but there is still some bullish news out there but that's really not being translated into the market right now so all I've got to say to you out there, there's, you know, more and more evidence that I'm going to show you later that, uh, you know, we could see Bitcoin uh, hitting at least $87,000 by January 3rd. So some unchained data is still pointing to the fact that we're still, you know, we're going to have a bit of an upside. We're going to have a bit of a pump and it's not over yet. Uh, and also we've got some interesting news for Shiba Inu as well that's just come out. That's pretty bullish, but it's not being translated in the price because everybody is really just standing on the sidelines. I'm waiting and waiting for something to happen and nothing absolutely nothing is going to happen until the fed gets their you know policy meeting out of the way and that's not going to be finished on, until after the 16th or 17th of december and they may even extend it guys so that's what's going to going to happen and you know so the santa rally is still coming but it could be delayed and uh, santa could be uh, you know becoming uh, old lang syne uh, the old lang syne uh, you know rally instead of the santa rally so you just have to keep an eye on that guys so without further delay guys do not forget to go down there smash the likes subscribe in the house guys i'm still pretty positive i'm still pretty bullish and you should be pretty ball uh, bullish and pretty positive in the house as well guys so let's jump into it without any further further delay if you guys do have time please go back and watch uh, uh, my previous videos and you know show some love in house and go back and copy the linky winks and share with your friends guys get the message out there get the message out there for the og you know you want to do it and uh, guys and gals don't forget to uh, check out the og merch guys we got tons of merch get the mug the mug get the cap to cap and uh, you know it's christmas so gear up with the og gears you guys you know you want it so if you take a look at the pre-markets right now the pre-markets are also pretty much down we're seeing red everywhere dow the s p and the nasdaq is down so that's probably going to translate to a pretty much debbie downer day for crypto as well that's just the way it is that's what's happening that's life in the big city and uh crypto's a jungle out there so you guys just have to hold on to your hat but please guys do not panic do not panic uh you know we're gonna see that uh you know things are gonna things are definitely going to come around this is not the end absolutely not the end and we're going to see i believe at least you know 75 to 89 
thousand dollars coming for bitcoin when that happens it's going to take the rest of the old coins go up with it and we're seeing that old coins right now are also bleeding out a little bit and that's uh you know because bitcoin dominance is going up so guys i know it's not looking good out there and you know all i can say is don't panic uh, I don't think the top is in yet. I do not believe that the current uh, Bitcoin level is the top. Let's just jump into Bitcoin on a weekly right now. So right now, Bitcoin is printing at 47,000. I do not believe that uh, this is the top. I still believe that we got, you know, more upside to come. And, you know, I'm going to jump into technical data and some technical analysis that points that. And the Bitcoin fundamentals are still pretty positive. Sure, Dogecoin coin is just going insane right now, guys. So this is very good news. Fantastic Dogecoin to the moon, guys. Maybe Inu are down. Uh, you know, Polygon is down. We're going to talk. There's a, a bit of a hack that happened on the Polygon NFT network. And we're going to talk about that. So the Polygon is also Matic is down because of that. We're seeing some Solana, some Solana outages as well. So all this seems to be happening at exactly the same time. Isn't it always coincidental that, you know, uh, the Polygon is uh, hacked. We got the Solana network is slow and if not down at some point. All these things kind of culminate at the same time. It's just kind of funny, right? Uh, is this uh, intentional or is this just by accident? Who knows, guys? Uh, but my money is it's unintentional. So right now we're seeing the Bitcoin uh, on the four, on the daily chart right now is trading around about to 47,300. And uh, right now it's also not looking good. Let's take a look at uh, the Bitcoin in the four hours, see what we can see. And I uh, mean, just clean up this uh, chart here because every time you repage it, and we see that on the four hour chart, we have a bit of a head and shoulder pattern forming. And you can see this is the this is the one shoulder, uh, you know, this is this is the 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 shoulder, the head, and the other shoulder formed here. And uh, all we can say this is this is one shoulder, this is the head here. And this is the other shoulder forming here. So, you know, we're seeing a little bit of a bullish momentum here. So since since we hit the bottom here, we're seeing that from the bottom to here, you know, Bitcoin has gone up a little bit. It's gone up almost 3.4% since we're at that bottom. So that is that is pretty good. And guys, you know, we were here before. You know, if we zoom out a little bit, you can see that, you know, this price zone that uh, Bitcoin is at right now. We've absolutely been here before, guys. Uh, definitely we've been here before. So we can just zoom out. And we have been here before. And uh, back in October, we were here, beginning of October. Uh, also, October 4th, we were at this price levels before. Also, we were at this price levels before here, uh, 11th of uh, December, and also here. So, not too long ago, we were at this price, guys. So, you know, we've been here before, not only about four days ago. So, guys, we have been here before. So, stop the panicking. Stop, stop all the kvetching. Stop going crazy. Guys, stop panicking. It's making me crazy, guys. So, don't panic, guys. We have been here before. So, also, we can see, as I talked about, we had, uh, you know, a nefarious person steals $140 million from a Polygon gaming platform, NFT marketplace, Vulcan Forge. So, was the play and earn to... The, 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 uh, was that a play to earn crypto or pay to learn a hard lesson about private keys so it looks like what do you think uh, you think this is a game well players on the Vulcan Forge platform and blockchain game studios that run decentralized exchange and NFT marketplace uh, to complement the play to earn tiles were too long the, basically the uh, nefarious person exploited the polygon based platform to get a hold of the private keys to 96 crypto wallets and grab roughly 4.5 million of Vulcan Forge native token P P Y R. And uh, so this is not good guys. So basically nine percent of the fifty million supply all told customers found themselves about hundred and forty million dollars poorer guys so they were able to hack and get the private key so guys remember it's a jungle out there it is a jungle and it seems that these things that get all all these nefarious things that are happening all t all tend to culminate when there's negative uh press and we're in a negative cycle guys so i i believe this is coordinated some manipulation in the house guys so also too we have the fomc preview is the fed behind the curve on inflation so how fast does the federal reserve want to move a uh, drawing down the its pandemic stimulus so you know, that's the question that's going to be asked. And, you know, with the inflationary pressure on the rise, we can see that Fed watchers are expecting a policy setting and federal open market F FOMC to lean into a speedier timeline on Friday. So we can see the consumer price index is about 6.8% year on year. So that's not good in November. So that's pretty bad, guys. So the only thing that the, the Fed is going to do is increase the interest rate. That's probably one of the things that's going to happen. So if the market perceives the Fed is behind the curve and control in, in, uh, inflation, it would 
would lean toward higher inflation expectation and long-term interest rates. So, and that would be potentially weakening the dollar. So, if they weaken the dollar, that's going to be good for crypto because more people are going to ape into crypto, and basically the 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 the, the fiat currency is going to be worth less and less, guys. So, you know, it's going to cost you ten bucks to buy a, a, a you know a loaf of bread soon, guys. So, just don't panic, guys. So, also we're seeing right now we're seeing that uh, Willie Wu in the house is also if I talked about this earlier, but you can see even though that Bitcoin price is down, people are not panic selling. This was the red is selling. We're not panic selling, guys. Do not panic. So, you know, things are looking pretty, pretty good from the fundamentals. I still believe the the Bitcoin fundamentals are still looking pretty positive. We're also seeing new uh, new cycle indicator. All previous tops, you can see all the previous tops. We had a Fibonacci level of 0 0.70 to 0 0.71, and currently the Fibonacci level is at uh, 0.61. So this just tells me that we're seeing that overall, as we get close to this Fibonacci level, this is going to confirm that we're going to get a breakout to the upside, guys. And I believe it's going to happen. So you can see here, this is also from uh, from uh, Valerie. Uh, in the house this guy's a pretty amazing ta guys in september 2021 the, the fibonacci was at 2.618 fibonacci price uh was hit right at the uh, 13 fibonacci time zone starting and that puts us around early july right now so if you look at the uh, if you look at the targets right now you can see that we hit the uh, 2.618 uh, in uh, sep early September. That was target four. And it looks like if we see uh, December, the target four uh, should be coming in pretty soon. And we can see ourselves hitting this Fibonacci level here. So you can see we're right here right now. Uh, and this is back in September. So here we're right here, guys. And it looks like that we could be hitting this whole uh, Fibonacci level. And it looks like we could be repeating ourselves right now, guys. So this is very interesting that if we see here, uh, we're right here, and this is a uh, 15 bar, two day, seven hour, uh, and the volume is 85.75K. And we're seeing the same kind of pattern uh, spiking up now. So we can see ourselves coming back up to target one, which is a 1.272 Fibonacci. That takes us 64,000. Then we have the next Fibonacci level is 1.618 at 70,000. Then a target three is 2.272, and that takes us to 82,000. And then if we do hit the same Fibonacci level, as uh, September 2021, that will take us up to about uh, 86,000 in the house, guys. So, uh, so with the same calculation methods in September 2021, we would get a price target of around about 87,000 by January 3rd. So we're looking at an $87,000 Bitcoin target by uh, January 3rd. So, guys, what do you think? Is that going to happen? Or is this? Am I just making up stuff? Some other news that's coming in right now for uh, Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu dominates Australia, India, and the Philippines. The majority of investors flock towards a meme coin so it looks like these two countries right now we're still seeing a lot of people aping into cryptocurrency and aping into shiba inu so it looks like the australians the filipinos and the indians they love the shiba inu in the house but that's not being really reflected in the price guys so we can see that shiba inu right now the price has just been holding steady it's been flatline and we're seeing that also for dogecoin right now dogecoin right now is also right now uh is at 1968 which is actually starting to pump back guys so this is very good news in the house let's just take a look at the dogecoin on the uh, daily chart and we see this huge spike that's just come up for dogecoin and uh that's very good and it looks like dogecoin is bouncing back off uh our support level and going up exactly as what it should be doing and uh hopefully this is going to be a good news so also we see that ethereum is uh printing a positive note right now that's 3791 and we're seeing that uh, big Bitcoin is also printing a positive note as well. So this is really a good part. And we see that, the, you know, Dogecoin has started this huge bounce back, guys. So this is very good news in the house. Doge is coming back, guys. Doge is absolutely coming back. We're seeing the total market cap here has come up a little bit. It's, it's come up just slightly. We're seeing the total volume is at 89.19 billion. And the Bitcoin dollars are still going up, so that's not good. But it's looking pretty good overall. And, uh, you know, so we got Shiba Inu news. And uh, let's take a look at uh, Bitcoin again. Bitcoin is still down for the week, but on the on the uh, on the four hour, it looks like we're coming back up, guys. So let's jump into the coins in the house, see where we're going right now. So we're seeing that uh, right now, uh, Bitcoin has come up slightly. It's still off 3.2 percent, uh, and we're seeing that Ethereum is still at three se three thousand seven hundred ninety seven, and we're seeing that uh, BNB is also down four percent, is at five hundred twenty six dollars, and we're seeing Solana is just getting wrecked out there, and Solana is down again. It's $155. So 
So let's take a look at Solana's technicals right now. Uh, Matic is coming up, guys, and it's at $1.82. Uh, $1 so this is pretty good. But Solana is just getting destroyed right now. And we're getting some really negative news about Solana and everything. But I'm a buyer. I think that you're going to see Solana go down to 140 and then bounce up from there. So that's probably what's going to happen in the house, guys. So let's get back into coins, guys. So right now we're also seeing ADAs going down. I'm a buyer a buck, and that's down almost five and a half percent. We're seeing DOT right now is also down 7.38 percent, and that's at 25.94. And a lot of the old coins are shedding some uh, shedding some positivity. Uh, you know they're going down. That's because the Bitcoin price, uh, Bitcoin dollars is going up. So that's why we're seeing that. But we're seeing that uh, right now Doge or Woja is up 17.42 percent. So fantastic, guys. Doge is coming back, and Doge is up 7.74 percent for the week. So this is fantastic news we're seeing that solana right now is also down 4.28 percent and we're seeing that uh, shiba inu is also down 2.928 percent so at the but the, you know the big comeback kid and the biggest gainer today in cryptocurrency is dogecoin so it looks like dogecoin is absolutely on fire right now and uh, dogecoin is going to the moon right now and uh, dogecoin is uh, you know given you know picked up almost 17 percent so that is huge guys it's this huge 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 in the house so dogecoin looks like it's bouncing past this territory and we could see ourselves heading up to 30 cents pretty soon so hopefully this will pan out and then we'll see dogecoin going to the moon guys i really hope so and guys and guys gals don't forget to go to my twitter follow follow me on twitter uh right now do it do it do it we got uh, 3452 people following us on twitter so that's really good join the cool club guys get it get it while you can and uh, guys and gals don't forget to go down and check out all my linky winkies do it right now and uh, don't forget to go and subscribe and smash the likes guys and don't forget to comment guys and don't forget to check out the merch merch we got all this great merch i talked about earlier and don't forget to go check the weefy wifey's channel go over there subscribe you why be in the house guys you know you want it but it's amazing news that we're seeing we're seeing that dogecoin right now is absolutely on fire guys let's keep an eye on that this is fantastic news i love it you love it the dogecoin holders getting some just rewards guys so i love it you love it so guys smash the likes one more time show some love for og in the house i love it you love it let's get it guys Woo!